your traffic office allows users to create configurations of traffic intersections. The main purpose of this is to send the configuration to the controller of the given intersection, which will use the configuration as the basis for the appropriate switching of traffic lights. However, before an intersection can be used, it must be approved by the relevant authorities. This approval process can require the existence of an intersection documentation. The data configured by the U-Traffic Office editors must be clearly presented within the output format, allowing users to make additional modifications to the document even after it has been automatically generated. It was precisely this use case that led to the creation of the so-called planning documentation. The planning documentation allows users to print either the entire configuration or only specific parts of it in the Microsoft Word format, which is a widely used document processing tool. This ensures that users can make additional adjustments to the document before it is printed. Even the complexity that comes with the configuration aspect can be solved as a reasonable print. The current printed output represents almost all possible planning editors. But with our predefined templates, the user can easily modify the content so that only certain configuration parts are used for the final document. This has the advantage of creating new templates that directly fit the set of expected chapters. The variability brought by printing in Microsoft Word format will definitely give all users the opportunity to edit the resulting document in every detail. It is enough to master the basic principles and then all that remains is to fine-tune the printing method to perfection. In order to proceed further for having the planning documentation digitally signed, user simply needs to save the current Word document as a new PDF file provided that dedicated competent authorities would be required to give their consent, they can put their digital signatures on the corresponding PDF file. What you can currently see are the steps involved in the signing process using a tool called Adobe Acrobat Reader. Assuming that the corresponding user certificate is ready, it can be selected for signing. Planning documentation is a powerful tool that combines the capabilities of your traffic office as an expert application, but at the same time leaves freedom for further editing in Microsoft Word. This ensures that the documentation will always visually correspond to the requirements of individual customers. We start our demo directly in Microsoft Word, where we are preparing a print template for a state where only specific parts will be printed. I created this template as a copy of the default template that is always available at the following location after installing QTraffic Office. Let's say I am a customer who prefers to print only a certain configuration outcome. Specifically, I would like to skip the chapter on capacity analysis provided by the so-called HBS editor. In fact, this part is usually optional at least among the German regions. In addition, I will also leave out the so-called volume flows, since these are mostly important in connection with the previously mentioned HBS capacity analysis. Another topic that I don't need for the printed output is about the so-called SL data, simply because it is based on the component that I don't use in my configuration. The next two topics will be about so-called stage frame plans and traffic actuation logic. These are advanced methods for controlling signal programs, but in my case I just want to have a basic, fixed time definition of my programs. As shown recently with all these unnecessary topics, it is just a matter of removing the corresponding pages from the template document. And finally, I need to update the table of content. Now, let's jump into U-Traffic Office to run the print wizard. Since the first step is just an introduction, let's move on to the second step, where in the first parameter I can choose my recently created template.
The second parameter is about choosing the output path for the printed document. The next step of the wizard is the selection of chapters. The list is updated in relation to the previously selected template. So, the chapters I removed from the template don't appear in the list here. Either way, this settings still brings its essential benefit. For a desired editor, the user can choose to print only individual instances like in this case, where I chose only one of the signal programs. I still have the option to select only certain chapters from the current list, but since I haven't removed the corresponding pages in the template for any other chapters, there will always be a blank page for each of these unchecked configuration sections. Why to have those empty pages? As I prepared the template in the expected way, I will select all the chapters so I can proceed for the next step. Here I can see all the properties of the document which can be displayed either at the beginning or in the header and footer. After printing the document I only need to enable them in Microsoft Word. Let's finish the wizard to see the expected result. Here it is. First, let's enable those document properties. To do this, I have to select all the content and select update field from the appropriate context menu. However, this was not used in the header and footer. For the header and footer, I have to go to print preview and that will do. When I go back to edit mode, I can see header and footer updated. Let's skim through the document to see if anything is missing. Indeed, everything is as expected.